Now listen and answer questions 14 to 20. OK, so this slide shows a map of the central area of Granford with the High Street in the middle and School Road on the right. Now, we already have a set of traffic lights in the High Street at the junction with Station Road, but we're planning to have another set at the other end at the School Road junction to regulate the flow of traffic along the High Street. We've decided we definitely need a pedestrian crossing. We considered putting this on School Road just outside the school, but in the end we decided that could lead to a lot of traffic congestion. So we decided to locate it on the High Street, crossing the road in front of the supermarket. That's a very busy area, so it should help things there. We are proposing some changes to parking. At present, parking isn't allowed on the High Street outside the library, but we are going to change that and allow parking there, but not at the other end of the High Street near School Road. There'll be a new no parking sign on School Road, just by the entrance to the school, forbidding parking for 25 metres. This should improve visibility for drivers and pedestrians, especially on the bend just to the north of the school. As far as disabled drivers are concerned, at present they have parking outside the supermarket, but lorries also use those spaces, so we've got two new disabled parking spaces on the side road up towards the bank. It's not ideal, but probably better than the present arrangement. We also plan to widen the pavement on School Road. We think we can manage to get an extra half metre on the bend just before you get to the school, on the same side of the road. Finally, we've introduced new restrictions on loading and unloading for the supermarket, so lorries will only be allowed to stop there before 8am. That's the supermarket on School Road. We kept to the existing arrangements with the High Street supermarket. OK, so that's about it.